Okay, let's take a look inside 6202 Promenade. Uh, northwest side over here, really good locations. Your very standard um, ranch. I'm not seeing a lot of issues. Um, so really we're looking at cosmetics. So reflooring, painting the walls, etc. We've got wood paneling around here. So add that in if you're gonna um, tear that down a little bit of extra labor cost. Um, you could obviously paint over it as well. Nice large kitchen with an eat-in area, which is something that's, you know, an advantage in this area. And then we've got our mechanicals, laundry, etc. So we do have a half bath here. So this is something that I think is a little bit extra bonus for this property. We've got a half bath and then on top of the full bath. So that's something that's really nice here, but otherwise um, countertops are in good condition. Uh, the cabinets probably could use some updating. You can do some painting, I think, on the, the tile on the backsplash because those are in pretty good condition. Appliances probably want to be upgraded, um, etc. Now, let's go out here to the garage real quick. Um, it's a really deep garage. So again, what we've seen many times on these is as deep as this garage is, keep it as it is, great. Also, you could wall it off expand it a little bit, something along those lines, and make this a fourth bedroom. It's a very feasible thing to do. You'd have to do insulation. Uh, it's not insulated back here at all, and it's not insulated up here on the uh, roof, okay? So it's something that could be done. It definitely will add to your cash flow, um, but you'll have to run the numbers to see if from an ROI perspective, if that makes sense. Also, quick point out, so our garage door is not your traditional overhead. It's kind of this... I don't even know what 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 that material is, but it's not a um, it's not your traditional garage door and everything. Okay. Um, do want to point out there is a nice large crack down here. Um, I'll show you when we walk around the outside. There's not I don't have any roof issues other than the shingles that definitely need to be replaced on this. I think this is natural settlement from some of the structure in the roof. Um, so fixing that, getting that squared away, I think is pretty. Uh, going to be pretty easy. <clears throat> Furnace looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, the description of it says it is newer, so we'll get an age and everything like that. We we'll go into our bedrooms. <clears throat> all of the bedrooms have a vinyl flooring on them already, and they're all everything has this aluminum uh, windows. So, um, <clears throat> as we talk about with aluminum windows, if they're working, they're great. Don't have a real issue with them. Um, so just trying to figure out how the you know, maintenance on them and everything. Bedroom number two, fairly small, but not bad. Again, this vinyl flooring that's in here and then bedroom number three. Um, you could, um, that bathroom is back over here. So, you know, there, again, you could restructure some things to maybe make this room, which we see quite often, um, have a half ensuite, if you will. Could maybe even push it out to make it a full two uh, bathroom for it if you wanted to. And then we've got, this is the full bath that's, that's currently in here. There is a note that says not to flush the toilet and there's an um, in the listing as well as on the toilet itself. So that potentially gives us an indicator that there might be some sort of a plumbing uh, concern. Also could just be winterized as well, but usually they say winterized. Structurally on the outside here, we've got this, I guess this is that Bedford stone, multicolored, etc. So maintenance is gonna be lower. I'm not seeing any major cracks that give me any concern. And then you can see really here from the roof, um, I'm gonna guesstimate less than five years left on this. So probably wanna throw in an idea for redoing the shingles. Structurally though, it doesn't look like there's a concern. Siding um, is vinyl. It's in good shape pretty much everywhere that I see. Decent sized backyard, fenced in, definitely some overgrowth here. Again, taking a look at the back here. No real red flags, um, significant ones. 
Gonna have to redo some guttering here. And again, the roof, it's definitely worn. Uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's not leaking right now. At least it doesn't appear to be from the inside. Um, but uh, it's definitely got less than five years left in it. So I'm gonna need some work on that in the not too distant future. And here's our condenser unit. And again, siding over here. So really not too bad, probably not a whole lot uh, to get into this one uh, to really start cash flowing on it. I'm guessing there's gonna be multiples, multiple offers on this one, some very low contingencies as well. Um, so let us know what you think. All right, thanks.